All right, today's prompt is called The Music of Nature, and we are going to be looking at how God's glory and sovereignty can be seen throughout nature. The hymn is This Is My Father's World, and the verse is Psalm 24 1. So there's lots of ways you can do it. Here's how I'm going to do so it. So, what I'm going to do is I, I actually went ahead and made this so it would dry beforehand so that I can work on it but I'm going to show you how I made this background um, this is my back this is my page because this is the size of my planner I'm not using a paintbrush I'm using a Starbucks gift card as my paintbrush so this is a super easy way to paint uh, and this is a card it's you can't use my card sorry I've already used it so if you can if y'all trying to zoom in on my numbers you can't I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to use a gift card, which you probably have several of these expired gift cards. I always save them for this purpose. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to make a background. You can make this background yellow if you want to make it like um, the the you know sunshine. You can make it light blue for um, the sky. You can or the ocean. You can keep it white. You can do whatever you want to do with the background. But here's how I'm going to do mine. I took some colors that kind of reminded me of night some different, I've got a black and I've got a kind of a purpley and some blues, see those colors. These are really cheap acrylic paints that I got from like the craft store, Michael's or somewhere. Um, they are, if you look at them, they're like a dollar fifty each, couple of dollars. They're just really not very expensive. I have a lot of them. Actually, these are my daughter's. I'm stealing them from her. Don't tell her. Um, she, <laughs> she likes to use these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these paints and I'm going to make some lines. So for this particular technique, I'm going to do a line at the top of paint. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to do a line at the top. I'm going to do a second line with the lighter color. And you can do them in any color, I mean, any order you want. It doesn't matter. There's no magic to that. I'm going to go ahead and do my black. Don't do a lot of black because the black becomes really overwhelming. Okay, so I just do a little tiny bit of black. Okay, and then, and then I've got this really pretty purple and I could use any colors I want it. This is just the colors I happen to pick up. Got this really pretty purple here. Okay, messy. If you, like, if you don't like to get messy, this probably isn't the best technique for you, but if you don't mind, there you have it. Probably shouldn't have worn a white sweatshirt, huh? Oh, well. Okay, so, and then what I do is I take my card and I'm literally just going to whoop, scrape down. It's so easy. And I'm going to take it up here and I'm just going to scrape down. If you see, it kind of gives me these little colors. And then I go down to this side. And go down here and if you notice the one that I did before I had too much black see that I don't mind it because it's night sky but there was a lot of black but this one I didn't if you find some that's that's really if you find it this dark and then what I can do is I can take a piece of um just scrap paper hold on a minute I've already used this one take a piece of scrap paper and I can take some of the excess paint off of here. All right, so if you find it really dark, you can just take it and you just um, do it a little harder and it'll lighten it up. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, if you're, you probably are not gonna wanna do this with me right now uh, because you won't be, you have to let this dry, obviously. But if you want a background, this is a really nice way to get a pretty background. All right, so there's my background. I'm gonna move this over and let it dry and pull over the one that I've already done. All right, hang tight. I've got to go wash this off. Sorry guys, talk amongst yourselves for a sec. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Sorry, 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 I should have had paper. I didn't even use soap and you see it just comes right off. So that's another reason why I like using acrylics. Okay, so here is the one I'm gonna let dry. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And here's the one that I already had, okay? I already had this one done. So now I'm gonna put something on it. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. It's, I just did it about an hour ago, so it's not super dry, but it is dry enough. So 
So the way I'm going to make my stars, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. If you want to do stars, you could do the moon, you could do stars, you could draw it, cut it out, you could cut out stars. I am actually using um, a white paint pen, okay? This is just a Sharpie white paint pen. And I'm just going to see if this works to make stars. Y'all are my guinea pigs. I don't even know if it's going to work. We're going to try it, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these notes, these came off of my, I think I'll just use these. These came off of the kit. So I'm going to put these on here because the music of nature, right? And then I'm also going to take a tag. Let's take a tag so I can do the journaling. So I can put some journaling about the scripture. All right. So what I'll probably do is put this here. And so that way I can journal on that. Okay. But I need some stars in my sky. So let's do this. Let's pull these off and let's see how this works. I'm not an artist, guys. You guys know that. If you've been around here any length of time. So we'll see how this works. Let's make a star. Let's just make a super simple star. Let's just go. All right. Does that look like a star, maybe? Can y'all see that? What do y'all think? Yes? It's kind of like a star. We're going to go with that. All right. So I'm going to make a few of these. And then I'm going to come back because I see somebody's telling me what you're going to do in the chat. Okay. The cool thing about paint pens is they do get darker. And I'm just going to randomly place some stars. Uh, thank you. It's a nice star. I appreciate that. All right. So let me see what somebody else is going to be doing here. Callie loves the sunset. I like the technique you just used, maybe different colors. Yes. Yellow, red, orange, incorporate water somehow. You know what you could do, Callie, is you can do the, um, the, the, like the yellows, reds, and like for the sunset, you can do that. And then you can put another layer at the bottom of the blue, that would be really beautiful. It'd be like the water at the bottom. That would be gorgeous. That'd be beautiful. You always want to do the lighter colors first if you do this technique, because obviously it's harder to get, it's harder to cover the dark color. So if you do a light color, like the yellow, like the sunshine, and then you do a darker color at the bottom, that would work beautifully. So like, you know, this way and then kind of fill it up. I think that'd be really pretty. Let me know how it turns out when you finish it. I'm going to do my whole sky. Oh, that paint pen just, that paint just decided to give me some, a real star there. Whew. I'm going to fill up my whole page. Um, I don't love that star. It looks like a glob. So I probably will put my um, elements over it. Okay. Now I got me a few stars getting lazy now. Okay. So now I have some stars in my sky. That one's a blobby. So here's the good news because it's blobby. I can just use my element over that way. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. And again, I'm going to cover that one because I didn't like that star. And I'm going to put this here and I and then I'm going to put another music notes up here okay um let me see if I have a brad a brad would be really cool for this you know those old fashioned brads I don't I don't have an old-fashioned brad but what I could do is I could just if I wanted something kind of original Instead of just gluing it on, I could pin it here. You know, use like a, a just a safety, uh, uh, what do you call that? Paper clip. And I could glue these on. 
like so. <clears throat> you can also use washi tape as part of the design as well. If you wanted to, um, you know, somehow put that as part of the design of the page. I always washi tape mine in, but you can also use it as a design, maybe like a corner element. Let's do that. Let's just see how this works. Washi, let's put some washi tape in this corner. Do that and do another one, match it up. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay. I'm just matching this up, matching up this washi tape. Okay. And then just put this on here. This is more of a transparent washi. So it's kind of a subtle look, but it gives you just a little corner edge here. I'm just making stuff up as I go along to give you some thoughts, some ideas, because you want to kind of balance out your corners, right? Now that I'm committed to this, I'm going to go ahead and do another layer here. So make it a little darker. The beauty of washi tape, as we've mentioned before, you can take it right up if you don't like how it looks. Okay, that's not bad. It's kind of an interesting, an interesting little look. And then I could even put um, another little element there. Um, let me find my elements. I printed off, I've only printed off the our element pack once, and I have so far been able to use it um, over and over again. You know what song also has been stuck in my head, guys? My head uh, is crown him with many crowns. So I think I'm actually going to use this crown and stick it at the bottom corner as a reminder again of his kingship and sovereignty. There are no rules with this. I'm glad y'all are here with me today, but there are absolutely no rules. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you have to. Matter of fact, you probably shouldn't because it's, you know, your idea is probably better than mine. But, um, but I'm just showing you how my mind works. And of course, as I'm doing this, what am I doing? I'm constantly remembering that the reason behind this. And I, I think about the crown and I think about, okay, God is, he is king. He's ruler of all. This is my father's world. When the darkest night falls, he is there. He's there in the middle of it. He's there. I can see the music of his creation. I can see the beauty of his creation in the stars at night, even when it seems, you know, like the morning may not come. I can see his beauty and I know that he is still good and he is still there. I live in the woods. I live in the, in the kind of the country. And um, so I'm always reminded of this. All right. So this is just a little reminder that he's the ruler over all. Let me go ahead and put my music notes on. I will write the scripture on my card. I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me do that, but I will watch. I will do that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's sing the song. Who wants to sing it for us? Alyssa, you have a beautiful voice. This is my father's work. Okay, there's my music notes. Um, I think I need a couple more stars here. Did you guys listen to that podcast where AJ and I talk about that camping? How she. She used to go camping all the time. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I laugh so hard because um, she talks about how her brother accidentally um, got the fishing hook on her like private part. <laughs> yeah, it cracked me up. Anyway, she laughed about it so I could laugh about it. Okay. I think that's, I think that's good for now. All right, so I will put the verse on here. And then what, you know, obviously I could do any number of things. I could 
um, use washi tape for the edges. I could, can, I'm, I'm, I could document, I'm going to, of course, document on the back. Oh, look at my back, how pretty that is. <gasps> pretty. Um, document on the back. You could add paper. There's so many things you could do. This is how I'm going to end mine for right now. And I'd love to see what you've come up with.